Hello and welcome to this data analysis tutorial where we're going to be looking at automating Excel using Python. We'll be looking at creating, saving, updating, opening files and turning a pandas data frame also into an Excel file and how we would open and save that and go about things. So prerequisites, we'll be using Python so that needs to be installed. Also, we'll need Excel installed on our system. Now, why use Excel and Python together? Well, Excel is present in most enterprises, so it's it's a great opportunity to be more efficient in something we do every day. And we're also going to look at um, which text editors, I mean, you can use any text code editor, IDE. I'm using Atom, it's a really powerful text editor. You could use the IDLE that comes with Python, um, it's completely up to yourself. But what we're gonna do after we've got this test, we're going to go about creating our first file so we need to import our dependencies but first if you've not used these before we need to actually install these in our system so openpy excel will be using that frequently and win32com so we can actually just go into our command prompt within the start bar you can go to the cmd you can type cmd in there and we can then start to install things in our system so we just need to, you can follow my screen, select the, the correct commands, pip install pywin32, pip install openpyxl, and we'll be using pandas later, which is an incredibly powerful data visualization package um, built on the top of Python. So now we're just going to start to script this automation out. We're gonna write it out, have some variables that align to workbooks, and all we're doing here is we're using a workbook and then we're saying the sheet that we're looking at will be the, the active sheet in the workbook that we're actually going to create. And now that we've referenced the sheet, we just need to reference the actual Excel cells and we're going to start off by writing some data all from our Atom text editor. Again, you can use whatever you want. So now that we've written hello YouTube in um, parallel cells, we can just save this and we can select what we want to save this as. So I'm going to choose hello underscore YouTube dot XLSX, of course, the Excel workbook extension. And that's saved, so that's fine. But now we need to look at how we can automatically open up this, this Excel file from our, our text editor as well without actually having to, to manually do it. So we need this script here. We're gonna use the variable Excel and make that equal to the dispatch of the Excel application and we need to make it visible. So we just have that Boolean, that true. And after that, we just have WB, our variable for the, the actual workbook. And in here, we're going to look at how we can actually, you know, open up this file. We'll need to give it the file path and we can do Excel our variable dot workbooks open we need to have an r and then we need to get the file path so you can find it in your file system if you want to do it that way in your file explorer you'll notice if you right click you don't get the copy as path you need to shift and right click on a windows computer and then you get the full path you can eliminate these double quotations and now we should have everything we need to automatically create a file save it and you'll notice if we navigate upwards it's automatically opened with an excel so that's fantastic without much effort and some explanation we can start to create excel files and automate some of our processes Now, what if we want to replace values now that we've created um, an Excel worksheet from Python? Well, it's quite easy to do. What we can do is we can create another variable cell and place that against this, this sheet object. And what we can say is we want to currently just check what that cell value is. So we can print that out and have a look at what that returns. And now that we've done that, we can actually go ahead and assign a new cell dot value 
as greetings. So when we're finished with this, we should be able to amend our Excel table to say greetings YouTube. And we can print that and check the process as well. And then we can go ahead and actually look at opening up this file again. And it's exactly the same process as before. So we'll just save it with the same name as we previously did because we're just overriding the file. And then we can go ahead now, uncomment these lines and open it up and check that everything works as expected. So we see that greetings YouTube there and yeah we've covered quite a lot in this first section and now I want to look at a slightly more advanced um, scenario that we'll we'll go over in you know quite quickly to keep this this um, video length down but we've what we've got at the top here again we're actually just importing in dependencies and we've got everything that we need for this already installed from the last um, the last example so feel free to follow along now what we're actually doing here is creating a pandas data frame and again it's just going to almost look like a, an excel table so we're using the same concept as before however we're actually giving it a bit more structure and we're, we're giving this headers and putting the relevant data below so obviously going through this quick, but feel free to follow along and, and experiment and have a look here because I wanted a bit of an advanced example. So all we're doing now is assigning a data frame um, by calling data frame and using that data information. We're assigning it to a workbook in the active sheet like we did before. And now we're just sort of laying out the rows, the data frame. We're saying we don't want an index and we want headers. And then we're appending that information into the table. And we can now save this however we want. I'll just choose pandas.xlsx. And you can see in the sidebar here, actually, we can get the relevant information. So we can actually copy the file path from there. And just like we did before, to automatically open, we're following the same process with this Excel variable. We set it to visible. And then we need to use the same process, the Excel.workbooks open to actually open our file automatically with that R present. So again, we can copy fill path here, paste it in, and we can see how that looks when we open up the file. And there we go. It's a, it's a much more sophisticated way of presenting our data using the very popular pandas data frames and actually importing that into Excel. Now, one last trick I wanted to show you before we finish up the video is if you do wb.close and the excel.quit, we can actually close and, and quit Excel as you'll see when I open this up here within the taskbar automatically too. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.